I got the Jaeger back. I got the Jaeger back. <laughs> uh, hello, everyone. Welcome back to BattleTech. As you can tell from my uh, giddy composure, that I got a Jaeger back hand off the last mission. Unfortunately, due to a slight tactical blunder on my part, I actually didn't have any free mech bays. So, oh, oh, no, wait, no, no, I did. Yes, even better. Okay. So I have this Jägerbeck here now, and I think that with a tiny bit of tweaking, this Jägerbeck could be something special. So I want to have a look and see what I can do to make this Jägerbeck into a proper long-ranged attack mech. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to dump the LRM-15s and replace them with LRM-20s. Obviously, that's going to put me overweight. But if I also dump the AC2... There we go. A single AC2 dumped, and suddenly the whole thing works. Although... Actually, if I drop both AC2s and the ammo... I could fit a little bit more missiles onto this thing because it's got two missile slots per arm and maybe a few more heat sinks <laughs> with that much uh, with that many LRMs coming out uh, a few heat sinks will definitely be required uh, put heat sink in the center torso heat sink and let's see if I put in... What's the weight on an LRM-10? Five tons each. Wouldn't be able to fit in two. Could I fit in a pair of LRM-5s? I could. If I put a pair of LRM-5s on there, that frees me up a ton to put in a bit more LRM ammo. Uh, I guess I'll put that ammo on. I don't think it really matters which torso. There we go. I think that could be something special. Especially if I start getting plus variants of these LRMs in from my other mech. Uh, yeah. That's only going to take nine days to get ready as well. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to make a mental note of this loadout. And I think this will be the loadout that I use uh, with my new LRM mech going forwards. But in the meantime, I think... Oops. Didn't want to view the mech. Yeah, confirm. That's fine. Uh, in the meantime, I think I'm going to stick with my standard party and we're going to go for one more mission before we head on out. Let's see what we've got here. There's only three skulls or higher left available. Where would this take me? Oh, it's a okay. Uh let's let's give a free skull a try, sure, why not? What's the worst that can happen? Uh, I can either capture a base in the desert or I can capture a base in the desert. Okay. This one pays a lot more, which is somewhat scary, so I'll go for the slightly less well paid one on the Assumption that that means it's going to have less opposition, maybe? Okay, so, unremarkable, empty systems like this one are the perfect location for covert intelligence operation, gathering operations. We believe there's a pirate facility here on Tinkalunus doing exactly that, monitoring the pattern of dropships making landings on the planet that has led Capellan analysts to a remo remote, apparently empty facility. Until just a few days ago when we picked up the unmasked signature of a mech's fusion engine powering up. That facility isn't empty and we want the data stored there. Okay, how relevant can intel from the ass end of nowhere really be? <laughs> We're still being paid so I suppose it doesn't matter honestly. Yep, got a point there. Uh, yeah, I'll just go down the middle on this one I think. Or I could... Actually, I'm doing relatively well 
reputation wise with the Capella Federation. Should I maybe try and grind some rep out with these? Drop the salvage a little bit? Uh, no, I don't think so. I've, I think I'll stick with plus eight. That's fine. No. I like money too much. Okay. Yep, I think we are good with this party. Uh, two and a half, 200 tons worth of drop tonnage should be okay, I hope. Here we go. Let's give it a go. Command interface initiated. Okay, here we go. These are the coordinates we received from Capellan Intelligence. Move into position to survey the outpost and let's figure out what we're dealing with here. Good luck, Commander. Olivia out. Okay. Well, this is a hellhole. Interesting. We got a facility with walls only around three sides. There's pretty much no high ground to speak of outside of this ridge here, which I doubt will be in range. Looks like we're going to have to just slug this one out, which is not good. Uh, there's a few forests around for cover at least. And I might be able to line a sight behind the walls a bit. Okay, uh, right. Let's uh, head on in and see what we got. Uh, glitch over that way. Have a back up glitch for now. And Medusa can follow Behemoth. Okay. Now we know from the description that there's going to be battle mechs. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> In battle tech, battle mechs. Who the fuck? Uh, because they said that they detected a fusion reactor powering up. Okay, we've got opposition here and here. Okay. Let's set glitch up over here, ready to run in when the time comes. Shadowhawk can hide over here, and the dragon can follow the centurion in for now. Okay. Okay, we've got something moving in the light phase. Here it is. It's a Jenna. Okay, hello Jenna. You haven't moved very much, and you've tried to rely on bracing and all that fun jazz, so uh, I think you're gonna die. Uh, let's reserve for now and see what this medium initiative does. Okay. Barely hit, Commander. Managed to hit despite all those evasions. Okay. Right, let's uh, send in Behemoth and let's see what we've got. Roger. Got a Wolverine here. That's the Jenner, obviously. Sure enough, that facility isn't abandoned at, uh, abandoned at all. We need to sweep it for hostiles and clear them out. Remember, there may be more enemy units in the field, so stay alert. You need to okay. secure the area, Commander. What's I'm this? Still a trebuchet. Hostile contacts on screen. Okay. Well, that trebuchet's braced up, so I don't really want to be trying to shoot at him. That said, I haven't exactly got brilliant odds to hit on anybody else. Uh, Wolverine's got a lot of evasions. He must have jumped. Uh, well, I'm gonna pop this Jenna with the mech popper, I think. So, unless I try for the trebuchet, that's more of a threat, isn't it? Either way, I think I'm gonna be shooting this Wolverine. So, let's just take off his evasions, if nothing else. Okay, that's some decent damage. Okay, let's see what the trebuchet does. Only two evasions, that's not too bad. Centurion's tanking it like a boss for now, so that's good. That's what he's there to do. Yeah, I think I'll use Glitch to take out this trebuchet, I think. Uh, how much do I need? 190, okay. gonna have to be a five evasion move then. 
Can I get an unlocked shot anywhere? There we go. You betcha. Okay, let's just go ahead and pop this trebuchet real quick. Okay, find me. Do, 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 do. Kaboom! What? Oh my god, she actually f completely missed it. That's like the first time Glitch has ever missed a shot. Waiting for orders. I am honestly stunned. I mean, I know it wasn't 100%, there was always the chance that it would happen. And with as many shots as I fire, it's going to happen sooner rather than later, but... Damn. Uh, okay. Well. Got it. Let's just keep firing at this trebuchet then. He's my new priority target. Good odds to hit on all those weapons, so let's have that. There we go, and then have it. Over there. I can only get the LRMs off if I go there. If I go there, I can get a shot with the medium laser as well. Heading out. Let's go for that then. Here we go. So this isn't exactly optimal. By now I was hoping that there'd be one less mech on the field. Okay. LRN crit, 15 crit, and his left side's pretty exposed, so we're doing some damage. Okay, here we go. Something's happening over here. That's quite a lot of LRMs. Archer, catapult maybe? Could be that fire support Jaeger mech again. Okay, mech popper, you need to get out of the danger zone and cool down. Actually, that's probably a little bit too risky. Let's just back off entirely. Moving out. Yeah, brace up. There we go. Cool down. That Jenna's going somewhere. <laughs> He's trying to flank me. Need to watch out for that. Uh, okay. Orders. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm, that arm's taking quite a pounding already. Uh, which side is that? That's the left arm. Okay. Uh, if I come in here and turn whitewood a bit, hopefully we'll be alright. I just kind of want to get up in their grill with my Centurion because it's running hot already and then I can start punching Got it. and all that fun stuff. So let's, let's just get in here. Yep, I can get one more decent alpha strike off first, so that's good. Fire it off. Firing. Okay, there goes his right arm. Critical hit, Commander. And he's knocked down. Good. That means we can get cooled shots on him from now on. Here comes the Wolverine. Is he gonna try and punch me? No, he's just point blank shooting me. And missing, thank god. Okay, um... Ready for orders. I'll act with you next, I think. Uh... I want, if I can, I want to try and avoid whatever this is. So, uh... Thinking coming over here is probably a good bet. Yeah. Those are good enough odds. And... Do I go for the side torso or do I go for center? Center's barely been scratched. But... Ooh, actually, those legs... 
are both pretty badly hurt. If I could take out both legs, that would be nice. Uh, let's go for the right leg. He's taken more damage on the right side, hand side. If I miss, there's more chance it'll go into the torso. Firing four complement on it. That's my theory. Right leg destroyed, right torso destroyed. There we go. Solid connection on that one. Okay, that mech is really hurting now. For orders. Let's uh, just run around a bit somewhere where we're not going to take too much heat off of that Wolverine. I think that's a good spot. Let's turn over this way a bit so that we're covered yeah, off against way. that general a bit more. Okay, trebuchet, go for the other leg. Here we go. There we go, he's out. Target neutralized. Okay, that took a bit more firepower than I would have really liked, but... Oh, it is a catapult, okay. Okay. Waiting on you, Commander. I want to try and hit that catapult. Can I? I can get a five evasion shot. The terrible odds. I don't like that. Okay. Uh, I'm reserving with glitch then. Let's wait for the catapult to come closer. Probably lose some evasions as well because he won't have jumped. Okay. Yeah, structure exposed. That's what Armor I was afraid of. Internal damage. Okay, well, if I want to melee, I've got to stay still. Oh, that's that's really bad. Uh, yes, Commander. Uh, I've kind of got to though. Uh, I'm too hot. I need to melee. Hopefully this will hit the head and just kill him outright. <laughs> That'd be nice. Targeting for physical attack. Okay, 70 damage to something. I didn't see what. Hard to tell with melee attacks. Okay, at least he's standing still as well. They've blown past my armor. Uh, I have lost armor on another location now. Oh, on the leg. Oof, that's risky. Okay, uh, Medusa, you get into the forest? Ooh, those are some nice odds to hit that Wolverine, I like that. Where did I hit anyway? Ah, side torso. Okay. On the right hand side. Damn it, I'm shooting him on his left. Um, or I could go for this Jenna in the hopes that I can take it out quickly and get rid of all these weapons. What's that? Wolverine hasn't got a huge armor. Of course, the odds to hit this Jenner are a lot lower. Uh. No, focus fire on the Wolverine, I think. Locking him. Oh. Okay, have it. Go. I want you. You will do. Yes. We're going to keep putting Hurt on this Moving Wolverine out. for now, and then we can transition over to trying to take out that catapult afterwards, I think. I've got loads of resolve. I should be precision striking this. Uh, let's go for that leg. Sure. Locking See if we can get another it. knockdown. Nope. Hit all sorts of other places though, including that side torso. Ooh, center torso took a lot of hits. Okay, I'm reserving glitch again. 
Oh, that catapult jumping again? Not the play if I was the catapult user, cause that shot got past my armor. That's a lot of heat he's generating between those LRM tw 15s, sorry, not 20s, and the jumping. That's a lot of heat. But this centurion is starting to feel it, so I need to get that centurion out too. I hear ya. Okay, uh, what can I do here? I can get a clean shot from here. 65 percent though. With precision strike, that go up to about 85. Do I like those odds? They're reasonable. Sure. Let's go for it. Coordinates received. Eighty-five percent, yeah. Okay, um... 175 damage, that's not gonna take out his center. Could take out a side torso if I wanted. Or a leg. Taking out his legs might not be the bad idea, then I can get free cold shots for everyone else. Sure, let's go for the legs. Okay, here we go. Got it. Fire! There we go, got his left leg. Want some more, huh? Down he goes. Timber! Good, good, good. I'm picking up a new sensor tree. Oh god. Like enemy reinforcements. That's not what I needed. My centurion's already feeling it. Oh god, this Jenna. Oh, he didn't. He, he didn't do anything too damn. Oh, we took out a heat sink though. That's not good. Reporting critical hit. Oh, but the Jenna overheated himself. Okay, interesting play. Good to go. Glitch, you need to cool down, and this forest is the, the ideal place to do that. Uh huh. Act with my centurion, I need to get him out of there. Okay. Receiving you. You need to get the hell out of Dodge as much as you can. Unfortunately, that's not very far. Could go here and take a cheeky shot at that catapult. I do need to deal with this Jenner at some point, and this Wolverine's being annoying. Uh, came over here. I, I really want to get into this cover. Maybe I should just accept that I'm not going to do any damage this turn and just get into this cover. I don't want to be showing my back to them if I can avoid it. That doesn't look like I can. Okay, well, here goes nothing. Just get out of there, you're getting way too banged up. I think the Centurion's about hit its limit, really. Yes, Commander. You, sir, can get two evasions if I go here. Oh, I've lost sight of the catapult. That's not good. Uh, two evasions. I can get three evasions over there, but I won't be able to get a shot. Uh, I think two evasions are the best I'm going to get. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to ignore the catapult for now. Hurts to do it, but... I need to prioritize taking down this Wolverine. Should I take another cold shot? No. Just fire it regularly. Oh, damn it, the AC missed. That's not good. 
Watch the flank. Oh, rear attack. That's what I was afraid of. Thankfully, it's just an LRM-5 from the looks of it. And most of it missed. Waiting for orders. Okay, where can I go with you? If I go here, I can get the... Hmm, I can get the medium laser off but that would mean... Oh, I can get the medium laser off from here. That's fine. Okay. Confirmed. Okay, they're making me work for this one. Uh, they really are. Fire! Okay, knocked down the Wolverine. Okay, well that's something. Okay, let's see what this catapult does. Oh, Wolverine's gonna act first. And not really do anything. Okay. Oh, he's firing a little bit. Okay. I thought he was just straight up done. He just stood up and that's... Yep, I'm done. <laughs> okay, catapult standing up. And that's basically all he did. Waiting on you, Commander. Okay, glitch. Reserve, because I don't want to run in and get shot by the Jenna. Though, with as hot as that Jenna's running, it's probably not going to want to shoot. Okay. Hemo. Move as much as you can within this forest. And try and finish off this Wolverine for me. Fire. Left leg destroyed. Sensor torso. There we go. He's out. Hostile eliminated. That's one down. Well, two down technically, I guess. Okay, have a. Okay, let's go with Medusa first. Uh, over here, let's try and take out this Jenna before that. Catapult and his reinforcements arrive. Okay, we're starting to overheat a bit, which is not good. Turn off that regular medium laser, that'll do the trick. Okay, fire. Roger that. Yeah, that damage reduction's a pain, but what can you do? Ooh, okay, only four damage off of that shot. Taking a beating. Yeah, I know, I know. Standing by. I'm trying my best, but the problem is that they've got too many too many shots. Uh if I take out this Jenna, then that catapult has to come to me. So that's something at least. Okay, that Jenna's getting pretty beat up. Okay, that's fine, only two damage. Nothing to worry about there. Hmm. Do I just pop him? What can I do for you? How much damage do I need? Uh ninety-seven. Okay, yeah, that's that's an easy pop, isn't it? Uh, let's reserve, let that catapult do what it wants to do, whilst I've still got a lot of evasions. Okay, this could hurt, this could hurt. Oh, even with cover. Reporting internal damage. Okay, now I need to make the choice. Do I go for the catapult? If I take out his other leg, then that's just job done, isn't it? Um, would need full five evasions, and I don't know if I've got that much heat available to me, though. I think my best bet is taking a small evasion shot. Just 
and 105 on this Jenna. Take out the Jenna. Cool off a little bit more because that's not going to generate a huge amount of heat. And then try and take out the catapult on, at the beginning of the next turn. Yeah, that's my play here, commander. I think. Moving out. Just let's just try and reduce damage as much as possible. Take so this. fire. Okay, I did not hit the center torso. I don't know where I did hit, but it wasn't center torso. Oh no, I did hit center torso. It had, oh, it had two health left. Good to kidding go. me. 